Look at that, wide open right there. Whoa! Another thing you want to watch, first ice, boom. No good. Tried to reconsider a couple plans just to be on the safe side because we're in our 30s now. We're not stupid. We shouldn't be doing this stuff, but it's two o'clock. We don't have time to do anything else. Uh, so we're going to get out as far as we can. We want to be out in the middle there for crappies and walleyes. We're going to get as close as we can and set up in the safest spot we can if we can't make her. So we're going to try to salvage and at least get a video and hopefully aren't bobbing for apples. <laughs> <laughs> 10, 12 years ago, we would have been out there set up. I would have been at the bottom of the lake already. <laughs> okay, big thing this time of the year. Everybody always talks about having a chisel or a bar. Um, my take on it always is these ones, way better. Three-sided bar. I mean, there's lots of other options like flat chisels and that, but I always like to say use the stuff that people that are doing it for a living use, and this is what the commercial guys run. They Pretty sure Xena has the same one, but the <laughs> Warrior Princess. Yeah, but <laughs> I mean, one hit, you're doing, there you go, four inches, no problem. But yeah, it's one of those things, you're only going to buy one in your lifetime, so you might as well buy a good one. Yeah, use the handle wrap too, or you'll be shooting your nice ice bar yeah. right through. We're just going to share a couple tips on you on first ice, you know, safety and equipment. You really, first and foremost, you want to pack light. I mean, we're just down to the bare essentials here. We got enough electronics here to melt through probably. Enough of a shack where we can stay three, four days comfortably if we need to. A bit of an ice camp, eh, James? Ice camp, yep, yep. No, we're going to uh... go fishing. Yep. Let's see, give her a whack. Gonna do a depth check here. We're kind of at the end of the line as far as where we can go, so we're hoping it's deep enough for critters. It's got the little mark them out. It's good for just hopping around and checking the stuff out. We got 20 feet right here. That's no, oh, you can't see it on there. Um, I don't know. We don't really have a choice. We can't go any further. The closer we get to that deep water, the better off we're gonna be. We might have to wait until the evening a little bit to get them to slide up here, but as far as running gun goes, we don't have that option. Whoa! The big cat's going down with the ship here, bud. Three and a half. That's how you go swimming. Thanks, bud. Thanks, Scotty. Shout out, Scotty. Ooh. Oh, my God. Jimmy, like. How am I supposed to have a chance at catching a fish with that milk run going? <laughs> <laughs> it's a big one. I hope it's a chain pickerel. <laughs> it feels like it. She's darting around like it. <laughs> First fish, first oh. ice 2020. Don't kneel too hard, bud. You're going to go through. No better way to start off the ice season. Yeah, I didn't realize so much competition. I didn't think you had a trot line of dead sticks over here. I thought we were fair. Play for keeps, bud. Might not be a chain pickerel. Let me know if it's something good. I'll come land it for you. I can't see it through my inch and a half of ice here. I'm just gonna film. I'm more of, a, more of a quality control kind of guy these days. Chain picky! Roll, baby, roll. <laughs> oh, I got him too. <laughs> oh, no, he's oh. I'm assuming that's him. <laughs> we, we got him. Right look at the sides on him, bud. Can we keep him? <laughs> oh. Amazing. Did you clock shot him? I clock shot him. I don't know if that's good for business or bad. <laughs> you got the OG clock shot too. Oh yeah. 
Nice jack, buddy. She might be under the slot. We could probably. <laughs> yeah, she's under the slot. She gets a break. Nice one, bud. Good job. I was going to say, I usually start each season with a pike, but you beat me to the punch. <laughs> well, we always get some here. I'm glad you caught it, not me. God, look at that camera angle. She's cockatooed. Where's my line? Over in freaking Timbuktu. Yeah, get that done? Why'd you come? Oh, oh. It's a mighty nice pike. That's a mighty nice pike. We gotta do an intro. We haven't even done an intro. We just talked about sketchy ice, and now we're fishing on the uh -oh. edge of that sketchy ice. We're hunting crappies, walleyes. Uh, have some other options. There's some perch. Uh, there's some really nice spotted musky, uh, chain pickerel, catfish. Catfish. We're hoping the crappies come through at dark. We fished this spot before, and it's just a really shallow lake that cranks up at dark um, for whatever reason. I don't know why. It's yeah. only ever at first ice, and it's only ever at dark. We uh, we learned that the hard way a couple times. <laughs> Lots, yeah. Oh, there we go. Whoa! Oh! Holy chain! Thought I weeded that one out for you. What in the world am I doing? We're uh, we're clock shotting. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll say I uh, like the clock shot over the uh, yeah. So we're doing the clock shot. We're doing. Some jig and spoons. We've got some new Z-Man plastics we're going to play with. Usually the crappies rolling at dark here and the walleyes. Uh, probably going to be perch and pike for the daytime, but uh, whatever. We're, we're set up. We're as far as we can get. We couldn't get to where we wanted to go. I've got my buddy Sean McGaughy here on navigation. Uh, navigation. Navigation not a bad deal though. Like you don't have to haul any gear. Yeah. Like you, you're, you know, chances of you perishing are a little bit increased up front. I would have saved you. We had a big rope. Yeah. Wouldn't have been that bad. We're in our, our uh, Strike Master suits too, so a little bit of float. Little bit added float, but I don't think any of the gear floats real great. It's actually not that cold out, but it's pretty windy. Uh, it'll be tough to get audio, so we'll set up here. Gonna show you the live scope here. I got my little Markham here. Uh, a little bit later, we'll probably do a little hole hopping around base camp here, but pretty much uh, nothing major. Just wanna. Put a couple of critters topside for first ice. I didn't really feel like going dealing with the speckled trout right now. It's easy to go tackle those right now. Um, yeah. This is just a little bit more fun. Possibility of something bigger. Yeah. Everyone's doing the tr little trump thing too anyway. We are, you'll see on the drone, we're just like on a line here. We can't go in. It's literally an inch and a half. Uh, yeah. Maybe a hundred pounds ago we could have. <laughs> creeped out there or when we were a little bit dumber or yeah had a few less responsibles took our time getting here we knew it's an evening bite so we did a little deer hunting on the way passed on a nice doe i'm pretty proud of myself yeah had, had her and let her, her walk yeah have a tag and everything but i'm you know such a good deer hunter that i don't need to shoot a doe i plugged my ears i thought you were gonna shoot did you oh yeah i thought it was going down no. I'm too hollywood soft. headshot too soft Bucks only. Don't get me wrong, if it that was a little one by one. Yeah. We've been having tenderloins this week. But. In the sous vide. Sous vide, yeah. 308. We're set up right at the right time, I'd say. How we found this spot is came and <laughs> searched, drilled around everywhere like maniacs. Oh my god. Back in the gas auger days, too. Remember how many tanks of gas we used to drill through those Strike Master augers? Yeah, so whatever, drilled it all out. Finally just gave up. We're like, there's no crappies here. You know, we knew they had to be here because of the creek and yeah. uh, heard of them and everything. And no, gave up. There's no crappies here. We're just like, whatever, we're out here. We'll just shack up. It was colder. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I sat there and, like, just about time to shut her down. Everything got dark and they started rolling in. Yeah. Um, so we cracked on them, caught some big ones, about 15 and a half inch true that was like super wide across the back. It weighed like two and a quarter pounds and weighed it. Yeah. And then uh, <laughs> we've been coming back at first ice ever since. So this is like tradition. Yeah. No, there was a time in our lives where we uh, lived, ate, and breathed ice fishing. We, uh, at least we did it then, burned ourselves out for now. It's funny you talk Yeah, you to... say that, but it's November, like, 19th, <laughs> road ice fishing. Yeah, so, but... As much as we bitch about it, we're still 2010, going. we would have been, like, walking two miles through the bush with backpacks and flashers and 
carrying two gallons of gas and yeah, we had to find all the hot spots for the next generation. <laughs> just freaking rolls out yeah. their life I found and... a new crappie lake. Uh, yeah, no, not a new one. <laughs> well, I'm glad we went hard back then because now we have a little milk run. You could, you always have somewhere to go and yeah, know what's going on. And then it was cool back then. And like, I mean, there was nobody else really doing it as much as we were. Yeah, they're they're way too smart. To <laughs> yeah. Break all your stuff. <laughs> We're just clacking in place. We're on the mud. There's some perch around. There's any time you're on this like kind of flat scenario, it's just nice to see like a little bit of life. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. Everything's flat. It's all pretty much the same depth. So yeah. not gonna get anything crazy there. But lots of times that's where a little hatch will be going on, and hopefully the better fish has come muscled a little. Pajama Keep the fish. perch pack occup occupied. <laughs> There's no way I'm not gonna wipe out. <laughs> Where's your mats? Just like down rigging, I'm on line clearing detail. That one's just right That's there. Dick Cheney for sure. <laughs> Absolutely no question. Why? Oh, oh, it's not a chain. Yeah, it is. It's a tail rolling walleye. Oh. oh, that's a brutal one. Don't let him lie to you. He designed it just to catch Pike. Pike don't like loud things. <laughs> on the other side of the island? Whoa. Oh, my God. Cherry chain picky. Seem to be coming from shallow to the deep. <laughs> Just take care of them so we don't have to clear all these rods. I wanna. You are a pickle. <laughs> oh, he's over here. It's a big walleye. See? You haven't caught that one yet. Hold him up to the cami. Ah. Just, sure. How do you catch one of these things? Because they're coming in from there. They've got to run your trot line. <laughs> well, I can't eat my banana bread. <laughs> Essence of gar. Is that what your flavor is? That's what's powering this lube tube experience. I don't like these other guys. I don't like to go too fancy. Essentials only. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dick Cheney? Might not be. Might not be. Hold the bread. I don't mind your banana bread. <laughs> Bubbles. <laughs> what is it? It's a chain pickle. Why? I don't know. But why? Imagine how many bass baits that thing nipped through. Last pike before the night bite. You said they were done. I know. We have one hour. The only hour that counts. Well, I've been the, doing the leg work. I got the desirable hole. You can grind her out on the pike front. You put your time in, that's for damn. I have to put one of these on simulator. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah! Oh, there's one. That's a good one. I'll catch him. Yeah, that's a pike, buddy. Me, you know. No, it's a pike. <laughs> oh, I bit my man off. Oh, good. No, he's gonna come for you now. <laughs> they don't like me. I would, like I would take one at this point, to be honest. They only like it over there. You're in the pike trough. You're in the snake pit. <sighs> On the seventh day, he said, "Let there be light." <laughs> Let there be pike. Um. You want like a double Ooh. look at that. <laughs> what in the world? Oh god, he's gonna eat it. Oh come on. Oh look at him. Looks like an alligator gar. Oh my god, that thing is big. Spoon spoon bell. <laughs> <laughs> Snag him! <laughs> It's all about the content. Pipe content. People come here, they expect to see ample. I think at first ice people watch anything because there's only ice and very, very few. So regardless, we're making a video of this. It's just the quality of it at this point is up to you. You either have to catch a walleye or fall through the ice to make it entertaining. <laughs>
What do you mean people don't want to watch me eat banana bread and catch hammer handles? I don't see how it'd be any different if they were cropping. We would think it's better, but as far as like a loop tubing standpoint goes. Huh. I think maybe you already caught that one. That's why we had to work him so hard. Oh. He's clamped down here. I forgot there were even crappies here. We've been piking so hard. We've been piking so hard. Yeah, it's team effort. Let the next one chew on it. I'm used to watching you do it where the pike just <laughs> annihilate the whole thing. <laughs> Here you go. Here it comes. Yeah, she's moving pretty fast. She got her. We're on, we're on. <laughs> Tighten her drag, <laughs> bud. Tickle my pickle. Got that fighting. Copy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> baby. Clock and stack, baby. First fish of the year. <laughs> okay. <laughs> It is. I know. <laughs> Sweet. That's a beauty. Fair cool. trauma. Happy with that. Is what is happening? Is hurricane out there? <laughs> is it like, is that what's going on? We tied down to the, for the conditions we had, not the conditions we're what is... facing. <laughs> Hang on to the turtle shell. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Move to Florida. Ten more minutes we're out of here. What do I do? Just cast it at there. Oh, you <gasps> dropped it. What? Yeah, dropped his, ar his artles. Oh my goodness. He might not. You hit him on the head. Yeah. This one's going to do it. Watch this one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let him eat it. You've never had patience. Magic here, you know. It's a race to a bite. You're going to win. Mine is yeah. not engaged. See? I'll let him eat it. And then I get him. I tickle stick him. I tickle stick him. Stickle pickle. Double header after all that nothing? Oh, yeah. Uh, I got a big perch. I think I got a perch. What'd you get, Uncle Churchy? Look at the size of that pajama <laughs> fish. Double pajamas. <laughs> you never know when you're gonna sumo. <laughs> had a couple Churchy swim through. Got a double header. Put them in a desirable pile. We're uh, having some technicals here and there. It's probably the same two all. Look at that. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, slack yeah. lining. A little slap and tickle on the 38 light. <laughs> that boy's got a date. Oh, I love a good night bite. Oh, she's in the deuce. Oh, oh my good day. <laughs> it's a buffalo soldier. <laughs> oh, I didn't think I'd get fired up on a big crappie anymore. Ooh. Oh my goodness, look at that meat mongrel. We just caught a 14 off camera. I don't know how big that thing is. There she is, baby. That's like a two and a quarter pound crappie probably. I don't have a board, but that's probably getting close to 16 inches. Might sound like I'm full of it right now, but that was sweet. Using the clack shot, she smashed that tickle stick, let him eat it for a second, did not need to. Look at that absolute war pig. We're gonna let that one go. What a beauty. Whoo boy. That's an eight inch hole. Big daddy's filling her. I gotta get... What a mag. Bye. Woo. That one went back and forth yeah. a couple times. So what happened there is the wind kicked up. Uh, we almost lost the slaughter otter here. <laughs> I didn't really peg it in that great. I'm more of a hub, hub or a tub, tub than a hub guy. So I don't, you know, I don't know what I'm doing out here. So we set her up. The wind was taken off, whatever. And what happens is that wind will push the plankton up along the brake line we're on here, the thin ice, and <laughs> big crappies fall. You yep. clack shot. You bring them all to that line, and she's a firing line. Sean's miscalculated his route a little bit. He's in the pike channel, <laughs> and you know, and you hear it all the time. Small details make the difference. Uh, I'm four feet away. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah. Enough talk. That was a crappie. It was the world's biggest. <laughs> that last one, was, that was the biggest one I've caught in several years. Mm -hmm. Several years. It doesn't look big. I'm 6'6", 250. Well, 240 now off the bread, hey? Um, 
I'm not eating six cent bricks of banana bread like Sean, but uh, it's it's hard to make them look big. I don't know. I try. Tr turn the camera on wide angle, so people chirp all the time, like, "Oh, that's not a 30 inch walleye. That's not that's not that's not that." I'm not here to lie to you. I've been around him enough. Yeah, tell you from experience, he makes them look small. I'm not a big picture guy. I got a face for radio. Like I should have no business holding pics in magazines or anything like that because it just looks like so garbage. <laughs> yeah, and then I get chirped for long arming them. <laughs> well, what do you want me to do? Either get chirped for a small fish, or lop her for off long... at the elbow. Yeah. You're gonna go full time loose tube, and you're gonna have to make some sacrifices. I don't think that's in my future. <laughs> <laughs> hey, while well, you're here watching us get 500 steps in today, sitting on a bucket <laughs> on an ice pail, um, may as well slide the mouse on down to subscribe and hit that button. It's really easy not to, and just say whatever, guy. Uh, but seriously, like that's what keeps this stuff afloat. Um, you know, keeps everything rocking. I'm going to catch one right on cue here. Uh, that'd be really good. But subscribe. If you're already subscribed, drop a comment, hit like. All you got to do is slide down, hit that like button and we'll, uh, oh. keep the content coming. You think I'm going to close her off on there? Oh, those, oh. Are nice. those aren't playing. A yard sale is inevitable. You know what? We're gonna run out of ice. All of this slippery like, ice just makes me want to sleep out here. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Love winter camping. <laughs> it's the major, I'm telling you. It's the major. We already went over this. Major minor. Moonrise. Mm. Mm hmm. Yep. That's the difference maker. All right. Homeward bound. She's been uh, past safe shooting light for half an hour. All the batteries are dying. Got a couple critters to clean. That's first ice. We're kicking her off. Plenty more tips and stories coming your way. Again, do some subscribing, like, give. Uh, you give your little spiel. I don't have a spiel. What do you mean, give a spiel? I got one came in. Yeah, catch him. There's your spiel. Oh. If you want to follow Sean, he's got some good stuff on the on the Instagram. He's pretty hard on the outdoors front. Always comes at first ice and walks out first, so hard <laughs> to complain there. He's got lots of good tips. What's your Instagram handle? Sean McGaughy at Instagram.com. So, How's that work? Yeah, pretty much. Pretty basic. Yeah. Type in the search bar. That, uh, that fish has turned into a yeah. real life thing. That's like... He wants to come for the shutdown. Oh, there's another one slinging. Man, they won't let us go on. home. That's it, we're going to camping. He always going to fight. We got four more pepperettes, we're good. Oh. He smashed oh. it. Oh. Oh. Well, that it? worked pretty good. It's not a Be a chain. It's a chain. Be a chain. It is. Oh. Oh. This is, this is, this is, this is. Wrap it up in the deuce, you're just cutting oh. it off. Oh. Cows have come home to roost, Baba Duche. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look, there's another one. Oh, my goodness. I thought I was out of here pike free. <laughs> Hold on, let me catch this one. Thanks for coming out. Bye bye. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>